So I'm just filming my preserves on November 2017. So this is what I've managed to get done this fall instead of hiking, which I, my favorite time to hike is fall and, but anyway, I got a lot of canning done. So, um, whatever. It's, you know, if you don't get one thing, you get another and it's, it's just fine. So that's some beets that I've pickled, um, with thyme. It's not a sweet brine, um, but the other beets that I've made are sweet and most of them I use stevia. Um, but anyway, so there's some carrots and some celery carrots and cauliflower mixed. Um, and there's some uh, broccoli. And I, for the broccoli, I used like a basic pickling spice recipe and um, added some lemon zest to it. And I think that's it. It's pretty good. And there's a box here of ketchup made with stevia and then honey thyme beets, a box full of cans of those. And then I have um, celery. And in this box is um, carrots, actually. Um, even though I used two whole boxes of celery for canning, I, um, I used the box for carrots. So anyway, um, most of that is either salsa or um, relish. So there's some more salsa. And you don't need to keep the lids the rings on just the these lid um, after they're done being sealed it'll stay sealed just like that um, if you need the rings for canning other preserves um, and I did in this case so I took them off of those um, there's some more carrots I did quite a few carrots in this style um, because I like eating Bami subs, so I thought, well, this will save me a bit of time later on, um, making my, and I flavored them different ways, just to try, try a few things out. Um, I made some, uh, zucchini strips here, which I plan on putting in, um, sushi and other, other kind of wraps, you know, to, um, try out. I, I pickled these two with um, rosemary and garlic and habanero pepper that I grew um, and then these carrots are Mexican carrots. They're a bit spicy too but with oregano and onion and stuff and bay leaves should be good. Looks beautiful anyway. I love looking at these this row of and so there's some more beets up there and uh, then these ones don't look that attractive I have to admit I put them in pretty jars to make them look better but this is um, an honey sherry sliced onions so I used sherry to flavor them and I used um, what do you call it coconut oil instead of olive oil because I don't believe you should heat olive oil so um, it doesn't look as pretty uh, as it would normally because the all the coconut oil ends up turning white when it cools off and it doesn't look as pretty but I mean I'm gonna be using it for putting on um, burgers and stuff so the heat of the burger will melt the coconut oil see like it doesn't look very pretty you can see the coconut oil in there but um, but yeah on the burgers it'll look just great and it tastes amazing. I made some with um, sherry and some with burgundy and um, this is the cauliflower that I pickled and I used some pretty little locally grown onions um, in with them and yeah I think that's, that's my row of preserves. It's pretty good. It's um, the most I've made ever in one year. So, And that's not it because over here I have um, 
some spicy ketchup, which uh, I like, but I don't like ketchup. I don't eat it, so we'll see if it gets eaten because um, James doesn't like spicy, but he likes ketchup. So anyway, I think this will be the last one to go, even though I think it's the best, best one, but, and these pickles sliced up and with some locally grown the cucumbers are locally grown and the dill is locally grown so that was pretty good and uh, this whole box is ketchup and this one was made with yellow tomatoes and uh, sweetened with pear juice and this one is um, made with orange tomatoes and sweetened with apple juice and then the red stuff is just regular stevia and um, I made some beets and then I just wrote down what's in the jar the jars underneath so I did some wax beans and stuff like that um, oh and the golden beets they're beautiful so beautiful but uh, let's see if I can get at them Whoop. no I better not try or I'm gonna knock everything down that I have propped up here so they're in there anyway and they're beautiful I love them so let's go over here and I have a whole box I made James of antipasto well I went too fast for my camera and it's probably looked terrible and made you sick sorry um, and then uh, so that stuff's all sweetened with stevia and I tried to do some things with a couple in the bottom sweetened with uh, apple juice and pear juice and he didn't find it sweet enough so this one is a carboy back up a little bit so you can see um, I did something a little bit different with that one I um, used lime juice in a citifier and I used green grapes um, apple pear and this one I used apple pear and just regular lime juice as a citifier and this one's just cherries and this one's cherry apple so uh, that's about it and then I have oh I have another three four boxes of um, those onions which are awesome for mostly for burgers but they're just they're great for sandwiches too whatever 